Let's solve another question of what is model. The earnings per share of a company is rupees 8. That is the earning per share E. And the rate of capitalization applicable is 10%. That is cost of capital. That is 10%. The company has before it an option of adopting 25%, 50% and 75% DP ratio. Dividend payout ratio. That means three specific dividend per share in God. Since three specific dividend payout ratio available in the question. Compute the market price of the company's quoted share as per Walter's model if it can earn a return of 15%, 10%, and 5% on its earnings. Three specific return or R is also available. Three specific market rate of return and three specific dividend payout ratio. That means three into three, you are getting nine specific answer depending upon the question. That means once you need to solve that question, we are getting nine separate answers. Okay, where your E is remain as digit and K is also remain as digit in every cases, every nine cases. But D and R will change of course. Then it's better you can follow over here a uh, box platform. Now, since uh, nine boxes or nine separate combinations available here, we should write over here calculation of market value per share as per what is called. Let me settle down the DG that One is earning per share. E you know earning per share that is rupees. Another certain, another item is which is also rigid in all nine combinations that is K, cost of capital. Cost of capital is also mentioned over here, any person. So these two items we can consider as a rigid item. For better understanding, row wise we basically consider a dividend per share. Then how to get the dividend per share, the combination of such, you follow over here. The options are options of DP ratio we follow over here according to the row. Three specific D we can count over here because three specific DP ratio asks us to. One is 25%. Then in first case, which is rupees 8 into 25% only, we are getting over here rupees 2. Second case, it is 50%. Then again here it is. Rupees 8 into 15 percent, we are getting rupees 4. Third case, it is 75 percent. Then it is also rupees 8 into 75 percent, rupees 6. Three separate combination of D we have come. The column one is we basically follow that R, that is market rate of return. There is also variable market rate of return. Option one. 15%, option 2 10% and option 3 5%. Then these three you can consider as A, B and C. Here we are going to follow that in option 1 it is given right over here R equals to 0 0.15. Option 2 it is 10%. R equals to 0 0.10. Option 3 it is 5% only. Then 0 0.05. Now, that you can count that combinations and here we are going to get 9 specific answer. This is option 1, option 2 and option 3. This is A, this is B and this is C. The way it is given over here, it is 3 specific adoption of DP ratio and 3 specific types of market rate of setup. So suppose now I am going to plot over here one by one. The formula is a little bit quoted over here. It is given P equals to D plus R by K E minus D all divided by K. Everything is known to us. Say D. What is the D over here? It is 2 plus R by K. R is 0 0.15. K which is rigid that is 0 0.15. Zero. Within bracket E minus D. E is also 
same in every case that is 8 and d is rupees 2 all divided by k k is also rigid over here 0 0.10 similarly in second case ok where only you have to change the d d is 4 plus the other things remain as same r and k again e minus d e is 8 d is 4 all divided by k 0 0.1 say here row 1 column 3 it is 6 plus because d is 6 0 0.15 by 0 0.10 8 minus 6 divided by 0 0.1 now we have to calculate one after one in next row first column P equals to, you know the formula, right here you got D is again 2 plus R by K, R is 0 0.10, K is also 0 0.10, holding E minus D, 8 by 2, divided by 0 0.12. Row 2, column 2, P equals to, it is D, D is 4 plus R by K, R is 0 0.10, K is also 0 0.10, E minus D, E is 8 and D is 4 over here, whole divided by K that is also 0 0.10. Third column and second row. D over here it is 6 plus R is 0 0.10 k is also rigid as well 0 0.10 within bracket d you know 8 rupees and d is 6 in such case whole divided by k k is again 0 0.10 now it is third row first column we are going to calculate now formula is known, first you have to settle down D, D remains as 2 plus R by K, R is 0 0.05, K is fixed that is 0 0.10 within bracket, E minus D, E is rupees 8 and D is rupees 2, all divided by K, 0 0.10. Now one second column, the P equals to again D, D over here is 4 plus R by K 0 0.05, K is 0 0.10, E minus D, it is 8 minus 4, whole divided by K 0 0.10. Finally, third row, third column, D over here, you know, it is 6 according to that plus R by K, R is 0 0.05 over here according to that row. R is basically considering row wise K 0 0.10 E minus D, it is 8 minus 6 all divided by 0 0.12. Now, one by one, we have to calculate each and every answer. Uh, before calculation, the answer, let me recap the concept. If you look at the column owner form, or uh, in column wise, if you trace that, in every column, the D remains as 2. Okay. Similarly, if you follow row wise at the first case, in every box, if you follow row wise, your R is 0 0.15. If you follow the second column, our D is 4, in every case our D considered as 4, okay. In fact, in third column also, our D is 6, then in every box in the third column, we consider as 6. D. Now, if we plot the answer over here, the first answer you got, rupees 110. If, if we consider the logic of Walter's model of dividend policy. First of all, we need to categorize the firm 
either it is growth form, normal form or declining form. Here 3 into 3, 9 specific alternatives you are getting. In first case, once you follow, here your R is greater than K. Then that you can categorize as a growth form. That condition can be categorized as a growth condition. Here in the second option, this R equals to K, that you can consider as a normal condition. And in third option, you follow, where your R is less than K, that you can consider as a decline. Now, these three specific conditions we can note it down according to that combinations. The first one is basically in respect of growth condition, second row in respect of normal condition, and third row in respect of declining conditions. What is the logic of that? The logic of Walter model? It is if it is a growth firm, the company should retain dividend or rather pay lesser amount of dividend. In that case, the market value should raise. Now, now if we look at the logic, at first case, the company paid 25% dividend. Then what proportion the company retain at the first options? The company retain over here 75%. At second options, the company retain 50%. At third options, the company retain 25% only. That is why, follow this mechanism that since the company retain more, if you compare in the growth phase, the market value of the firm is also more. In second options, according to the logic of Walters, either the company retain or the company pay, that particular proportion doesn't have any impact on the market value per share. If you look at that in second condition, Whatever amount, whatever proportion the company pay, either it is 75 or 50 or 25, it doesn't have any impact on the market value of the firm. Since you got the similar market value in case of each and every box. It is in third case, if the firm is considered as a declining firm, Walter suggests that the firm should pay more and more amount. If we follow, at first case, the company pay lesser amount of dividend as the company remain in uh, the maximum one, the value got 50. In second case, the company pay 50% dividend and 15% the company till the value got 60. In third case, the company pay more amount of dividend, you got more value. Look at that nine into nine, that nine particular boxes, what I put it over here, that kind of question can justify or we can easily portray the logic or the substance of the model easily. I think now you will understand how uh, market value of the partial is calculated under Walter's model. Thank you.